Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. Peace be upon you. Today we're diving into a fascinating topic, the Sabians in Islam. Who were they and why are they mentioned in the Quran? Let's find out. So, the Sabians, or Sabaeans, are a group mentioned a few times in the Quran and they often pop up alongside Jews and Christians. But who were these mysterious people? The Quran gives us some clues. Check out these verses. Surah Al-Baqarah, 262. Indeed, those who believed and those who were Jews or Christians or Sabians, those among them who believed in Allah and the last day and did righteousness, will have their reward with their Lord, and no fear will there be concerning them, nor will they grieve. Surah Al-Ma'idah, 569. Indeed, those who have believed and those who were Jews or Sabians or Christians, those among them who believed in Allah and the last day and did righteousness, no fear will there be concerning them, nor will they grieve. Surah Al-Hajj, 2217. Indeed, those who have believed and those who were Jews and the Sabians and the Christians and the Magians and those who associated with Allah, Allah will judge between them on the day of resurrection. Indeed, Allah is over all things witness. These verses highlight a powerful message. Belief in Allah, the last day, and doing righteous deeds are what truly matter. But who exactly were the Sabians? Well, that's where it gets intriguing. Scholars have different theories. Some believe the Sabians were an ancient monotheistic group in the Middle East, possibly connected to the Mesopotamian religions. Others think they might be the Mandeans, a Gnostic sect that still exists today in parts of Iraq and Iran. Regardless of their exact identity, the Sabians mentioned in the Quran shows the respect Islam has for other monotheistic faiths. It's a beautiful reminder of the importance of faith, righteous actions, and the inclusiveness of Allah's message. So what do you think about the Sabians? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more fascinating insights into Islamic teachings. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video, inshallah.